right. So it might have been a long way from the big dance, but just getting a chance to play in a postseason game, even if it was the collegeinsider.com postseason tournament, was something the Tulane men's team did not take lightly. I'm just happy to be a part of any tournament in the postseason because I've been here when, you know, we won eight games and like three conference games. So, you know, I'm just excited to be in the postseason at all. The Green Wave held off a scrappy South Alabama team all night and got a big boost when Ricky Tarrant knocked in a jumper at the halftime buzzer to go up 38-29. Second half strategy, get the ball to the big man. First team All-Conference USA forward Josh Davis was up for the challenge on this night. 26 points and 12 rebounds meant his 19th double-double of the season. And for the first time since 1996, Tulane had earned a postseason win, beating South Alabama 84-73. Uh, it's great. Uh, I mean, I appreciate all the fans coming out and... And like I said, we get another opportunity to play. A lot of teams are sitting at home, so I'm just glad we got another chance to come out here and win. The win was Tulane's 20th of the season, the first time they've reached that number in 13 years. And early in the second half, more history, when Tarrant joined the 1,000-point club in just his sophomore season. Uh, it, it's a great feeling. You know, my teammates, they did a great job of finding me when I was open, so I get all the credit, you know. The win especially sweet for a pair of Tulane seniors, both Jordan Callahan and Kendall Timmons, with one more chance to walk off this court the right way. I told our guys, you know, we didn't finish our last, what we thought was going to be our last game in Devlin Field out of the way we wanted to against Houston. And uh, to get a chance to, even though it was in the last 20 seconds, to get Timmons and Callahan off that floor the right way means a lot for me, to me and our program. It was great. Uh, you know, the last time that I thought it was my actual last time playing here, we lost, and um, you know, it was a sour feeling. I didn't know if I was going to get to play in the postseason, and I'm just glad that it happened before I was able to get out of here for good. Yes, the postseason banners at Devlin Fieldhouse still have plenty of space available, but after making a little bit of noise in the postseason, let's just say Tulane is hungry for more. We're very thankful. It, it, college basketball is one of the toughest. Uh, things to break through in the postseason, you know, and, and there's 347 Division One basketball teams. There's over 210 or 220 that are sitting at home right now. So for us to get a chance in postseason and be one of those 140 teams that is still playing, we're really thankful, and I think the, I think it'll bode well for our program in the future. We'll gain a lot from the experience. With Tulane, Uptown New Orleans, I'm Eric Ritchie for CST Tonight.